Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Ong. I'm a high school teacher in New Zealand and today we're going to watch how to add and subtract algebraic expression. Yeah. Okay, so algebra is actually a branch of math in which symbols, usually the letters of the alphabet, is used to represent numbers. So we shall look at some examples. In primary school, you have learned how to solve this equation. 13 plus a box equal to 22. In high school, instead of a box, we are going to represent symbols. It could be anything. It could be a fish. It could be a cat. It could be a dog. It could even be a rugby ball. But for simplicity's sake, we are going to represent that box with an alphabet. So normally, the common alphabet is the letter X. So it's going to be 13 plus X equals to 22 or it could be 13 plus a rugby ball equals to 22 it's the same it's just that it is a number that you do not know and you're going to represent it with the letters of the alphabet okay now we're going to look at how are we going to add and subtract algebraic expression so before we even do that, we need to know what is the meaning of like terms. So in algebra, like term means that the expression has the same letters or a combination of letters. In other words, you can only add and subtract when the terms are like. So we shall look at some examples. So we look at 3x and 5x. We look at the last letters x and x are they the same so they belong to the same family and we can add them up so for example 3x plus 5x so for example 3 apples plus 5 apples that will give you 8 apples or 8x similarly xy and xy 4xy and 2xy they are also in the same family so if we take away 4xy minus 2xy become 4 apples take away 2 apples or 4xy minus 2xy the answer is going to be 2xy similarly if i have a b squared and on that side i have a b squared they are the same family if i were to add them up 3 a b squared 3 of one family plus 7 of the same family you will get 10 a b squared so remember you can only add and subtract when they have the same letters or the same combination of letters they are called like terms we shall look at some interesting numbers now so if i have a question that looks like that okay 4x plus 2 this is where a lot of people get confused x and there's nothing there 2 is just a number are they like terms? No, they are not because x can only add with x and 2 can only add with another number. So if the question in the exam asks you 4x plus 2, the answer will remain as 4x plus 2 because they are not in the same family and that's why they cannot be added up. How about the next one? 3xy plus xy squared. Is this the same family? Are they the same letters? No, they are not. So the answer will be still remain the same. And you have to write it down as 3xy plus xy squared. Because they are different families. They are different combination of letters. And so they cannot be added up. And the last one is where there's a lot of confusion. So 4xy and 2yx. The so xy and yx, are they the same family? Okay, just imagine x and y are just numbers. If I say x is 2, 2, and y is 3, so 2 times 3, are they the same as 3 times 2? So they, they are the same, isn't it? 2 times 3 and 3 times 2, they are the same. Another example, if x is 5 and y is 4, is that the same as 4 times 5? So technically, x, y, and y, x are the same. It's just that they are arranged differently. So they are the same family. So this time, you can add them up. 4xy plus 2yx is actually 6xy. So in algebra, it's technically important that you put x before the y. Okay, now we're going to do 
the last of the light term and this will be done in year 10 as well as year 11. Okay, the first thing you need to note that the plus, the operation, be, is, be, this op plus belongs to this 2y, that plus belongs to this 4x, and that plus belongs to the 3y. There's no plus or minus on the x, so you can technically put a plus there. So now you are going to add the like term. So which one is the like term? You're going to circle them. So x plus x and plus 4x. So when you add them up, you will get 4 x plus 1x the answer is 5x and the other pairing is that plus 2y and plus 3y they are the same family and the answer is going to be 2 plus 3 it will give you 5y that is how you do like term addition the next one is going to be slightly harder so now you look for the like term there's no term at a plus so now you're looking for the same family. So the first one is 4a plus 4a and then u minus a. If there is no number there, it actually means 1a. So if you have 4a minus 1a, they are the same family, that will give you 3a. And the second family that is like is the b family. Plus b minus 4b. If you have 2 minus 4, it will give you minus 2b. And what happened to this one? This one has no other like term. So you just have to put plus one at the end of the equation. Last but not least, we shall look at a more complicated version. The same thing applies. So we shall look for the same term. So xy family and the plus xy. Again, if there's no number, it's a one. So minus two xy plus one xy if you give you minus 1xy or minus xy and the last family is the xy squared family okay so if i have 4xy squared minus 3xy squared and the answer is plus xy squared hope you have learned something from this video hope you have learned how to add and subtract algebraic expression enjoy